Fantastic. Hello there, Mr. Hellish here. Welcome to back to Sim Airport, where it's halfway through day 24, and we've got some money in the bank to spend on today's expansion. So, a couple of episodes ago, we looked at security, got all that flashed out lovely. Uh, then we, in the next, in the last episode, we uh, moved the restrooms, got maintenance finished off, more restrooms and coffee tables and all sorts of things, and uh, we started to look in. We started looking pretty neat. Now we're going to start some expansions. We're going to go and do some construction. We're going to get foundation. And I'm going to go right to the end. Right to the end here. But I don't know how much I'm going to do in width. I want to spend nearly all our money. So if I go there, can't afford it. If I go there, can't afford it. If I go there, can afford it. So we're going to do as big as possible. Now hopefully by the time this is built, we'll be able to afford some gates. Um, I don't know why, but when you go out to this zoom level, people start to become invisible. I think it means that because people were starting to obscure objects, but as you zoom in, you can certainly see them. There we go. Um, so hopefully now my my workforce is on their way. No, they're stood around. You know why they're stood around? Because we're still waiting for deliveries of the foundations. There's all the deliveries coming in, and off they go. They, where are they going? They're going up here. And they're going through this um, outdoor gate at the back there. Nice and secure. Just a back gate for anybody to go through. And um, this means, hopefully, that uh, this episode we can start expanding the number of... Um, what are these cool things? Gates that we've got. Now, if we're expanding the number of gates that we've got, we're going to be able to schedule more flights, make more money, and, oh my goodness, it's going to be brilliant. Um, but... First things first, we have to get this area built. Um, I've got a funny feeling it won't be until the end of day 25 when our schedule will cut and we'll go into day 26 with a new schedule. So, let's keep things running along nice and quick. Um, a load of people just got run over by an aircraft, but I'm sure it's fine. They're bringing all the supplies needed for the foundations and are just starting to build the wall. Now, I did it so that they would leave this existing wall in place. And what I'll do then later is take the wall out once the foundation is in because, well, we all know what happens when you take the foundation onto the side and knock the wall down at the same time. Uh, it all exposes everything. The airport crashes and everything goes horribly wrong. Um, I've been looking at this kind of cyclic way of working on the taxiway and it, it seems to work pretty good for me. So I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm hoping to have another runway down this uh, back end here, and I thought we'd have a third runway down the bottom possibly, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, at the moment, aircraft generally are cycling around okay. It'll be interesting to see how bad it gets once we get some more gates in. Now, they still are building these foundations, and I've got a hundred and something thousand, so we can start looking at getting the gates sorted out. So, objects large gate we're not going with extra large on this section yet so these are how much 22,000 so there we go oh invalid placement not enough money okay so we managed to get three more gates in oh wait there we go we've got another one down objects large gate rotate it round ah oh, we just spent some money on staff and retail and stuff how much is it 40,000 I was looking at the wrong, wrong thing then I think Either that or the price goes up. I bet the price goes up the more you buy them. Well, um, they are 40,000. We've got 40,000 in the bank. I just placed it. And the next one is still 40,000. So obviously I looked at the price. Four new gates. We're, we're more than doubling the aircraft. Um, I'm hopeful that we can expand this section down here later on. Um, oh my goodness, I've just realised how horrific the passenger flow is going to be. We're going to need to really increase security. Um, I mean, we can we can start at maybe looking that, at that now. Uh, body, body scanner. So if I remember correctly, these body scanners are too wide. Um, you should be able to then just place that one there. Like that, like that, like that. Like 
that. There we go. So there is actually enough room for all of those securities. And then there's the bag scanner, which goes on the same level there. there. Is that facing the right way? Yes, it is. And then there's the ID check stand, ID check stand. So we're doing another increase in security. Oh. Okay, the top bit I think is going to be a little bit... We might have one queue too short because of the way that things are laid out. But uh, let's get those queue, or at least a couple of those queues in. Yeah, I think the top queue, by the looks of it, is going to miss out here. But never mind. We will prevail. Everything will be fine. Probably. Eventually. Eh. There we go. I mean, the queues are assigned. The desks are assigned. We don't have the staff. Um, this is just like the biggest expansion... I've ever done in this airport and I didn't really think it through um, I'm sh yeah look we've only got room for a a, a tour it's going to have to be a small one at the end bag scanner I'm working on it don't riot or anything This is really annoying me that this is only... You know what, I probably will move this wall and make it bigger, but I'm going to... You know, I'll do that between episodes. They, they only need a one wide corridor down there. Right, we need more staff. All the staff have gone there. So, security staff. Hire staff. Uh, we've got money, that's fine. So, how many more did we add in? I think I added four in, didn't I? Get rid of bank loans. We don't want bank loans. Did I add four in? Can't see. I think so. Okay, in that case, let's add uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should do it. All that new staff, that I should sort it out. These queues need assigning. So you need to assign to that queue. You need to assign to that queue. And you... Where are you? Dirty floor? No, not dirty floor. There's all the new staff arriving. Yep, there we are. ID check stand assigned to queue. Right, so people should at least queue up properly now. Oh, look at that security. Yeah, it is really bugging me about that wall. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do it now wall down here and there we go uh can we, we'll take we'll take a bit off the maintenance room as well right how's the foundation coming oh the foundation's done brilliant in which case let's go clear this indoor wall there we are and we will go we want a sliding door uh objects sliding door there we go, we'll have one there, one in the middle there, one in the middle there, and one, I can't see, one in the middle there. Right. And then we're going to need some gate, uh, gate, agent desks. Now, do these put right up against? They do. One and two. We have two per gate. There we go. And then we're going to have to have some queues. So, if I remember correctly, these queues, they start here with a gap and they're three wide. Right in front of there. Like this. The only problem is, is I can't remember how far back they go. But I suppose that's a start, isn't it? There we go. We'll do that for now. No, 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 no. There we go. 
I think I might regret this expansion. We've got four grand in the bank. And I've just realised we're going to need a whole expansion on the baggage system. Which I don't even know if I can do. These go right up against there, they do. So this will go there. Not quite there. Right, uh, I'm just going to bang these two in. And by the magic of jump cuts, there they are. Um, so that is the queue that this queue needs finishing. Can I do it through the wall? I don't know. Let's let's fast forward and go queues because the wall isn't there now. Okay, so that's the gates in. The desks need fitting. The queues are there. Uh, we need to get the hangers sorted out. So this is a medium hanger. And there's room for three vehicles. Two vehicles are doing too fine. So if I get another two vehicles, another medium hanger. So medi medi or yeah, another medium hanger. A lot hanger. Oh, it's objects. I'm presuming actually. Hanger, a, a large hanger can carry five vehicles. I'm better off with another medium that can carry three. I mean, I don't have the money for it, but one day. One day I will. Uh, I'm really glad I did the quick upgrade in security. Um, I'm still waiting for that wall to be sorted out so I can fix that last queue. The body scanners seem to be a little bit queued up, and I don't know what's wrong with these guys. They're all just like stood around saying, Argh. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Late for departure. Nothing's wrong. So I'm not quite sure where my workforce is. Or, or what they're doing. Oh, they're building these gates now. Right, okay. So, we're going to need some more agents. We're going to need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more agents. Uh, staff. They're just general staff, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And we're going to say that this is assigned to this desk and this desk. And then you are assigned to that one and that one. You're assigned to that one. And now that one. And you are assigned to that one and that one, which sorts out most things. We Oh, hang on a minute. Let's get rid of the planning, because that's doing my head in already. So clear all the planning in this area. Bam. Oh, that's so much better. Now, I don't know whether it's a good idea or a bad idea to have all these gates next to each other, but I'll, I'll, I'll work it out. And this will be a good opportunity to, to upgrade this gate over here as well. Uh, but we can afford that, that hanger now. So, uh, objects, hanger. I have another medium hanger. Well, that one's servicing these three. This one's going to service these three. So it's going to be there. But I'm going to offset it slightly. There we go. We're going to have a baggage depot. Hang on a minute, that's what that one is. It's a ba oh, hang on, it's under utilities. So, baggage depot. We'll have that there. And the baggage, not carousel, but conveyor. Can I put more than one car carousel on this? Cannot connect endpoints to conveyor segments. One or more endpoints would not be usable. Okay, so it's got to go to a different exit. But I can do that. I'm sure I can do that. So this is going to go to there. And then it's going to come round here. I don't know where all this money's come from all of a sudden. But never mind. So that is that conveyor. That works round there perfectly fine. 
Now the only problem is, is we're going to have to get this one to come all the way around the back here. It's not the most convenient conveyor, but it it should work okay. So if I make that go straight up there. So we've got the two hangers going on those two conveyors, and now this this output here is going to have to come down like this and follow that route. I might want to, oh no 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 no, demolish or cancel that bit. I went too far, as always I went too far. Right now there's a baggage carousel there. We could stagger them, that would be quite nice. Uh, utilities, baggage carousel. Or if I rotate it, oh, so it went the other way. That'd be good. And we'll have a baggage claim here and then baggage claim down there. Fuel pipe, fuel depot, large fuel tanks. Yes, that is what we'll do. So then, there we go. Wow. I thought that was going to be a lot harder. That's complaining because it requires at least one gate to be assigned. Um, that's got three. This one's going to have four gates assigned. So, assigned to this gate, this gate, this gate, and this gate. And you, you're going to assign vehicles, add baggage car baggage car baggage car we can add more hangers if we really need it it's fine so that means we've got three gates on one baggage carousel and four gates on the other baggage carousel i'm happy with that now this gate here this one i want to upgrade but to upgrade it i'm going to have to move all the flights off that new gate Oh, that old gate, should I say. So if I just move these ones up. Then in theory, I should be able to move that. Get that there. There we go. So that small gate now, we should be able to be one, whatever it is. We should be able to get rid of that. Um... I don't think we'll be able to dismantle it now. Yeah, because it says there's four, floor, f mm. four flights scheduled, but it, there isn't. It's only what's left of today in this day of game. Um, we haven't got any flights scheduled here, but I think we're actually ready to. So let's have a look at that. Yes. Let's, so we're in so many PM, so let's pause the game and do that. We're going to take uh, what we got. Is it three more flights we can get in for now? So anything that over C900, anything that's over, say, like 90 passengers. So we've got uh, a morning 737, which is this one at 140. We'll take that. And then got a couple down here in the morning. Uh, a rubbish one and a 707. We'll take that. So let's get those two in. And these are going to start overlapping soon. Like really overlapping. Oh. Okay, so that's going to be two notches that way. Two notches that way. Two notches that way. Two notches that way. Okay. And then that one. Goes there. Uh, did I do that right? So that one's there. No, these all need to be moved along by one, unfortunately. Mm. 
There we go. Right. Um, so that would normally be there. But we'll do an extra one because of that. So we've got room for a few more morning flights. And then we've got a load of afternoon ones. Oh, this is really good. This is really, really good. I'm going to put that there. One, two, one, two. One, two. Yeah, put that there. Put that there. Oh, stacking everybody up. Look at that. Right, let's see how many more afternoon flights we can get in. Uh, we'll check down here. This is an afternoon flight. It's an uh, E195. Uh, 90 passengers. We won't bother with that one. Uh, we've got two afternoons, we've got an A320, 150 passengers and a beach 900D, which is probably that one, so we'll just take this one, there we go, um, there is an afternoon flight here, and it's the 400, which doesn't seem to be listed there. So I'm a little bit confused. We're going to get rid of that. Um, this one's an afternoon flight. Um, 7.37. We'll have that. I don't know how many more we can get in, but we will certainly try. So we'll get that star flight there. We'll shrink it down because our efficiency is second to none. Um, yeah, we can take more morning flights, more afternoon flights, as and when we want to. E15, no, that's a terrible aircraft. Uh, this one, we've got a few afternoon flights, but it requires extra large runways. We've got one here that doesn't. It's a, uh, the B767, which is this one. Our 200 something of passengers. Yeah, we'll have that. Definitely have that. And this one is uh, a 767 as well. Uh, 767. Yep. Oh, we're going to be rolling in the money. All these extra expenses we're having to shell out for various different things. Um, although looking at this pattern, I think we can afford to move things along a little bit. So that's invalid. But if I put that there, one, two, one, two, there we go. Yeah, I like the look of this. So we've got whole whole swathes of the airport that's not being used at the moment. Um, Let's go and have a look. I'm, I'm fairly sure that nearly all of these afternoon flight are the, are the ones that aren't the right size for us. And I'd rather not mess around too much. So this one is probably a terrible aircraft. Uh, so we won't have that one. Um, this one, night flight, is a terrible aircraft. These two, 707 and 737. Uh, 737, yep. 707, yeah, we'll have both of them. Um, oh, there's quite a few, a few in the PM. Uh, that's an afternoon, that's no good. Uh, a B767, if I remember correctly, that's a huge one. We'll have that. This airport's going to be busy like you've never seen it. 707 at night time, we'll have that. That's four new flights. Let's make sure we can fit all that in. Um, so, let's just make sure that that's staggered nicely there. So, one, two, one, two. There, okay. And the only problem is that the tool tips in this game are terribly, terribly placed. Um... Okay, so let's work backwards from there. That one appears to be longer than it should be. Are all these shorter? Yeah, there we go. So let's get that one in there. 
get that one in there. I think some of these have been... We can shorten them down. I'm, sh I'm sure we can shorten these down. We can, we can get these guys in and out of the gates in no time. Okay, does that look about right? These ones look like they've got a bigger gap. Why have they got a bigger gap? They go there, they go... well... Maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. So we've got room for one, two, three, four morning flights. Uh, one, two afternoon flights and just one evening flight until we get that gate sorted out. Wow, that was quite a challenge, organising all that. Uh, right, ho hopefully we can get this gate sorted out sometime soon. In fact, what I'll do is I will skip forward so it's past midnight and then I um, there'll be no flight scheduled and I will be able to get rid of that gate and fix it up. Right, the gate has been dismantled. It is gone past midnight. We're going to put the brand new gate in. Rotate it round so it fits in the right place. Now there's one of these, it's designated A. I don't want it to be called A. Uh, I want them to go through the alphabet, left to right. So I think I'm going to have to fix that. These two uh, gate agents are like, what? We haven't got a gate. And we're going to go, yep, yep, you have. You're assigning to you and we're assigning to you. That is all cracking. There, you can see the, bait, uh, the gate numbers there. So we're going to go with A there. And we're going to go... B, and after B go C, and it'd be interesting to see what this then looks like on my ABC, there we go, on my uh, scheduling board. Oh hang on, is that right now? Oh cool, brilliant. So now, scheduling board, yeah look it's gone, it's gone a bit funny. Um, But I'm sure we can get this so that it lines up lovely and not only looks pretty, but works nice too. So that's the last one of there. We can go diagonally across that way too. Um, put that one there. All large gates now. We're going to get some extra large gates in later when we get some extra large awesomeness. Um, that's good. That's broken. That needs to be moved slightly. There we go. This one can be brought down here. And then that one, I think, needs to move across one. There we go, so we've got room for one, two, three at night, a load in the morning and, a, and, and four in the afternoon. Let's, let's just uh, expand that up a little bit and uh, see if we can get any more in before the end of the episode, shall we? So, let's bring that down to there. Let's concentrate on the night ones first. So, um, you are, I don't know what kind of aircraft you are, you're not great. Uh, they're 195s, no they're not good aircraft. We're looking for relatively big aircraft uh, for the afternoon and night time. No, no, check in here. Ooh, 707 at night, yep we'll have that. Um, another 707 at night, yep. I only got one more slot for night and a 706 or a 706. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we're going to adjust the times. Let's move that along. And I think. There we go. Nearly. There. Oh. 
I'm a little bit worried they're not gonna, we're not going to be able to cope with all these flights, but we'll find out next <laughs> next episode. Those ones are terrible. That one's terrible. It's an, it's an uh, afternoon. Really, we should just go down the list and check each one rather than doing all morning, all a.m. and all. So I'm doing afternoon and morning now at the same time. Afternoon and morning. B767, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, I'll have that. Um, that's terrible. Uh, 195, no, that's not good. And, uh, so, oh, yeah. Picked up some more morning flights here. There we go. Wow. This, this. We might have to make some of these boarding times a little bit bigger for some of the larger aircraft. I don't know yet. But for now, we have just got so, so many flights um, that I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for next episode now. But we're going to have to wait because the next episode is next time and this is this time and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Remember to follow me on social media to find out when all my new videos are coming out, as well as while I'm when I'm doing events and uh, giveaways and things. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.